The Richter scale is a way to compare the size of one earthquake to the size of another. Now the ground can move in all different directions, but to start out with, let's say it's moving up and down, like this. See how we have a nice smooth curve? That's from the ground moving this way. Now let's say we have a bigger earthquake with a bigger ground motion. Let's say we have one 10 times as high, like this. See how this one is 10 times higher than this one over here? So then the ground would take on a shape, something like this. Same nice curved shape, but this stack of chips is 10 times as high as the one over there. But look how many more chips there are. You see, it takes a lot more chips to keep the curve in the same shape. The chips are like the energy, 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 in an earthquake. So when the ground moves 10 times as much, it has a lot more energy, about 32 times as much energy. And we have 32 times as many chips. Energy. Now, because the numbers can be very small or very large, Richter came up with the idea of using tens. See, let's say we have an earthquake of magnitude one. Well, it's gonna have some ground motion. We'll, we'll call it one. Now let's say we have another earthquake of magnitude two. Well, its ground motion is gonna be 10 times as much. We just add a zero. Then for an earthquake of magnitude three, we add another zero. So look, an earthquake of magnitude three has a hundred times the ground motion of an earthquake of magnitude one. And it has a lot more energy. Now, since Richter came up with this, a lot of other scales have come along. But they all work in about the same way. The bigger the magnitude, the bigger the earthquake. And the bigger the energy there is to knock stuff over. It... Uh, you weren't, you weren't supposed to see that. Oh, sorry.